Hi, I'm Michael. Today, we're gonna make this salt cellar out of a branch. Let's get started. I started by taking a piece of branch that was about three inches long, and I found the fastener bit that was the closest to the outside diameter, but would still leave me with a little bit of a ridge. Now, I'm holding it with my hand, but I really probably should have taken the time to clamp it down to make it a little bit safer to do. I drilled out a bit of material, and then I gradually decreased the size of the bit to create a series of steps on the inside of the piece. I then used my flex shaft with a rasp on it to carve down the ridges of the steps and create a bowl shape. I filled the cracks with a little bit of CA glue and sprayed it with activator. I then sanded off the extra. I switched to a flap sander and finished hollowing out the inside and then used a piece of sandpaper to just finish the sanding process. I noticed that some of the bark was starting to lift off, so I applied some CA glue into there as well used activator, and then repeated this process until the gap was filled. I then removed the extra CA glue from the surface of the piece with the rasp again. After I had a shape that I liked, I took a small piece of scrap wood and I just kind of drew by hand a rough shape of a spoon. brought the piece over to the belt sander and rounded off the edges and then I used a flap wheel to finish shaping it. Once I had a look that I was happy with, I applied a generous coat of mineral oil to both the salt cellar and to the spoon. I let that dry and then I came back and I applied this butcher's block conditioner. Again, a nice healthy coating. Let sit for about 20 minutes and then I buffed off the excess by hand. And that was it. The piece was done and it's ready for use. I think that was a pretty fun build. We built a, we did a small vessel uh, using minimal tools, no lathe, and we got into a little bit of basic power carving. Um, now, keep it in mind, this is a very rustic looking spoon, but I spent all of about uh, five minutes making it. Uh, with a little bit of time and patience, you get a pretty good quality output using the Dremel. If you found this video helpful, or maybe picked up a thing or two, then we would love it if you subscribed. Enjoy.